In today's video, we are going to talk about seven simple ways to secure your home Wi-Fi network. Myself, Muhammad Zubair, and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number one. Change your default username and password. Well, the first and foremost thing everyone should do to secure their home Wi-Fi network is to change their default username and password to something more secure and something more uncommon. Well, Wi-Fi providers automatically assigns you with a username and password to the network and hackers can easily use those phenomena and they can find these default passwords and usernames online very easily. And if they can gain access to your network, they can change the password to whatever they want. And they can also lock the owner out and hijack the network. So changing the username and passwords make it more difficult for the attackers and the outsiders to identify whose Wi-Fi it is and they will not be able to have the entry to the network. Hackers have very sophisticated tools and technique that they use to test thousands of possible passwords and username combination. So it is very important to choose a strong password that combines letter, special words, symbol, numbers to make it more difficult to crack. Number two, turn on wireless network encryption. Well, who does not know that encryption is one of the most effective ways of safeguarding your network data. And encryption works in a way that it scrambles your data or the contents of a message so that it cannot be deciphered by the hackers very easily. And the most secure type of encryption that a lot of people use for the home networks are WPA2 and we have some many more. And if you have older devices that are up to 10 years old, then they may not be compatible with WPA2. So it is very vital to upgrade your home devices so that you can have enhanced security and performance. And to check if your router uses WPA2 encryption, look at your network setting and check the wireless properties. That will allow you to select the best encryption method when you join a wireless network. Number three, use a VPN. Well, VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And using a VPN is very common these days. A lot of people use it. Well, you have two choices. Either you can buy a paid one or you can use a free one as well. Well, a VPN is a network that allows you to communicate over an unsecured and unencrypted network in a private way. And it makes sure that your communication is secure as a VPN encrypts your data so that a hacker or an outsider cannot tell what you are doing online or where you are located at the moment. And a VPN will also alter your IP address and it will make it appear that you are using your computer from some other location other than your actual one. So in addition to a desktop, it can also be used on your phone, tablets, on your laptops as well. Number four, use firewall. Well, firewall was a phenomena for big organizations and big companies because it cost a lot of money. But most Wi-Fi routers contains a built-in network firewall that protect broadband connections and prevent any network attacks from the intruders, hackers or outsiders. So nowadays, firewall is becoming very common. So you can use that for your Wi-Fi network as well, as they will also have an option to be disabled. So it's important to check that your home router's firewall is turned on and another layer of protection have been added to your home Wi-Fi security. Number five, disable remote administration. Well, this is one of the common way that attackers and hackers use to gain entry to your home network as they gain the access through the remote administration feature on your router. So remote administration allows anyone close enough to your Wi-Fi network to view or change the settings of your Wi-Fi. So if you do not need to remotely connect to your Wi-Fi, it is best 
option and best practice to turn this feature off. And this can be done by going into the administration section of the Wi-Fi settings and then you can click on the disable button. Number six, keep your router software up to date. This is one of the most sophisticated way to make sure that your Wi-Fi doesn't get hacked because having updated software for your router make sure that you have all the latest security updates and all the security patches and Wi-Fi software should be updated to protect the network security of your home. And the router's firmware, like any other type of software, can contain any type of vulnerability that the hackers, intruder or outsider can use to exploit. So most routers won't have the options of an auto update. In that case, you will have to manually update the software to ensure that your home Wi-Fi network is protected. Number seven, change your Wi-Fi password oftenly. This is another one of the very best practice to make sure that no one from the outside uses your home network. As we all tend to allow visitors and our friends on our home Wi-Fi network from time to time. So it is very common that your Wi-Fi get passed around more and more people than you should have it over the time. So every six or 12 months, or you can do it more oftenly, change your Wi-Fi password. And if you have a large gathering at your house, you should make sure to change your WLAN password after the event. It will also make sure that your home Wi-Fi network doesn't get compromised. And that was all about this video and I hope now that you will consider these options to make sure that your home Wi-Fi network is secured. If that is the case, please leave a like, subscribe and press the bell icon. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.